Hey guys, how are y'all doing? Um, this is Dan. Today is Tuesday, um, June the 2nd, 2020. It's right at 8 p.m. It is um, 82 degrees Fahrenheit with the heat index of 84 degrees and the humidity is 61%. But I did um, talk to somebody on Messenger today and um, it's 109 in the desert. <laughs> so that's crazy. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't complain, but I'll take dry heat over humidity any day. But I'm kind of in the middle. Florida gets really hot too, but extremely humid. The desert gets really hot, but it's dry, and I'm in the middle, <laughs> you know, as far as the states go. But anyway, um, this is my um, Cordovan Italian Hive. I made a split off it. Um, it started out with um, C a CF Conan and Son Cordovan Italian Queen last year. And um, y'all saw probably saw the video of it and uh, of the split I did. Well, I did a split off, a split off of it about, I don't know, three weeks ago. And um, actually, maybe a little bit more. And um, I put a Pendle Apiaries um, Cordovan Italian Queen in there. So um, I haven't opened it up since I've done the split. I have no idea what I'm going to find. And... Um, if I had to guess, looking at mother hives, I don't know if I'm in a dearth or what, but I see plenty of um, spotted bee balm, lazy susan, cowpin daisy, um, and other stuff. We got a um, silk tree that's in bloom, so a, a um, mimosa. So stuff's in bloom, so maybe the flow starting for me, but all my hives have been light. Um, I've actually started feeding. And I've condensed um, a few of my hives. Started feeding some of my hives. But anyway, I'm going to open this up. I already smoked that once. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right down there. I'm going to guess this is going to be light. Probably nothing in this top box. So I'll probably take it off. Oh. This one of my nurse bees. All right. Oops, actually some comb in there. I'm gonna look on my bottom box first. So we got a bunch of bees roaming around. The reason I'm doing this so late is because um, we've been like in a dearth and. Um, See me lifting that up. This top box feels heavier, but um, well, it doesn't anymore. <laughs> but um, what you call it? I don't want to start a robbing spree, and um, so that's why I'm doing this so late. I'm gonna leave this top one on like that. Put that there so they're kind of closed. Let me smash some. Okay, can y'all see that there? Oh yeah, all right. Nothing like bef um, before when I did the split, but it does look like I do have some Cordovan Italians in there. Um, go ahead. And... Sorry, ladies. I'm just going to set this up here and they'll work their way into that box. Come on, I don't want to smash y'all. All right. Um, for you new beaks out there, always start at the outside. Oh, they're kind of nervous. I wonder if that queen's alive. Start at the outside, remove the outer frame, and work your way in. It doesn't matter which end you start at. I've got a frame holder. Um, If you've never seen one, this is what it looks like. And, you know, they just go like that and you set your frames on there. This will hold like three. But um, I'll just set that frame up there. So I may end up using it here in a little bit. So um, nothing on this frame either. Okay. Okay. 
All right, little girls. Oh, this is light. This is so darn light. Kind of makes me almost wish I didn't split this. Hadn't have split this. Yeah, there's nothing. Nothing in here. You just wax. Same on the other side. Just that's built out, but I think that was like that before. Yeah, I've got a theory that something is happening to my foragers. I don't know what. I don't know if they're being poisoned, not making it back. I mean, everybody around me, they're saying there's a flow on and they've, they're already processing honey. Seems a little heavier. We don't see a queen. Not much in this one either. I'm probably I'm gonna have to start feeding this one too. I sure hope I didn't lose this new queen. I lost a, um, one of my splits with one of the new Cordovan Italian queens in it. Um, I realized it yesterday and it, the hive was actually infested with um, small hive beetles and um, wax moths. The larva. Well, there were wax moths in there too. And that was actually a strong split. Seen a queen. No brood. Feels like there's a little bit of nectar in there. Let's get a close up so y'all can see what I'm looking at here. See, there's not really anything in these cells. There might be some nectar right there where that glare is. I hope it is. Oh. This rain's relatively light though. I want them to be heavy to where my fingers get tired. Get out of the way. There we go. <laughs> Why'd you walk in there? Oh. Yeah, nothing in this either. It's pretty much what all my frames look like. This is a foundationless frame. Right when I started getting into this box, they acted like they were queenless. Or are queenless. 
I mean, these are Cordovan Italians, so they're relatively calm anyway. Although they're still bees, you know, they have their moments. Sorry about the gunfire, guys. Part of being out in the country. No eggs, no larvae, nada. No nectar, unless that that one that one frame I saw before was nectar. A lot of my hives are light like this. That's why I've had to start and start feeding. It's very peculiar. This hive was packed and heavy when I made my split. All right, I'm going to have to condense this. So, um, let me do this. I'm just going to lift this oh, a small high beetle. Okay, yeah, it smashed one bee. All right. Let's look in this box, see what we can find. No Mark Queen there. All right. All those are empty. Cone, cone. Yeah, I mean, there isn't very much propolis on here either. You know, my bees usually propolize the heck out of stuff. Got some comb on that side. Nothing on that side. But this comb was already there. Looking at it. Golly. Dang it. This is an old comb I had. Well, not too old, but I forget. It's a foundationless. Nothing. like I don't have any foragers. Look at that. There isn't anything in this cone. Something is happening to my foragers. This is ridiculous. seen my queen she may be in the box somewhere um, you can see the remnants of a queen cell right there if you can see me pointing at it right there um, there isn't anything in this frame either I've got comb with nothing in it all right so this hive is starving so, um, this is very peculiar. I'm telling you, something's not right. So, um, I don't know. So, they're probably queenless. 
So um, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna condense this hive down. And I'm gonna stick a pollen patty in there to, for them to feed on. And then tomorrow morning I'm gonna get out here and I'm gonna get some feed on them. So um, anyway, dang it, this is what I thought might happen. Well, I hope you all have a nice evening. We'll talk to you all later. Bye-bye.